fight to protect the black people from police when they're the ones that are perpetrating against us. Sometimes it's our differences that give us the things, give us things that are much more in common with each other. Sometimes it's our differences that where we can find more common similarity between one another rather than the thing that separates us. my tone aggressive doesn't mean that I was aggressive. It's just how you've interpreted, interpreted that. But however, you're the law. So I can't fight you on this because it, it, it's going to go very left for me. And I know for a fact that as a black man, I'm not going to win this argument. that when you see it, it doesn't have that shock factor that it used to anymore. And that's what makes me the most upset, that we, are, we as black people are no longer as upset as we used to be when seeing another case of police brutality in the media, because it's become so ingrained in our lived experiences that we just have to be like, oh, another one. I shouldn't feel guilt or shame for the idea that they have of me because it's not the truth. I know who I am and I know where I came from and I know that once you get to know me, the idea of who I am to you in terms of an, in a negative way is going to change. It's just that you have this idea of who I was based off of the interactions that you've seen on TV or the media or other things, other times where you've interacted with other black men that maybe necessarily haven't gone so well. So you've painted this picture with the same brush of all of us. Well, for me, it's identifying that not or skin folk are kin folk. And that's something that I had to learn very rapidly and harshly last year. That just because somebody looks like me doesn't mean that they're gonna have the same mentality as to wanting equal rights for all black people everywhere. 